This project was based on an article titled A Sustainable Model for Emergency Medical Services in Developing Countries, a novel approach using partial outsourcing and machine learning. In the beginning of the semester, we discussed the 17 Sustainable Development Goals adopted by the member countries of the United Nations. SDG number 3 agrees to ensure healthy lives and promote well-being for all at all ages, with 3.1 being a specific target metric for decreasing maternal mortality and 3.6 for decreasing deaths from vehicle accidents. One solution to improving outcomes of SDG number 3 is via implementation of a strong national EMS system. Unfortunately, populations in middle-income to low-income countries disproportionately suffer from poor EMS outcomes. For example, the capital of India, New Delhi, surpasses the minimum one ambulance per 100,000 people recommended by the World Health Organization by nearly 44,000. In November 2022, a team of researchers from the India Institute of Technology utilized machine learning and integer programming techniques to create a prediction model for improving EMS patient outcomes. The team used 2018 data from India's equivalent of the 911 hotline, the 108 emergency hotline, from one of India's 28 states to train and develop their predictive model. This data set had a large number of variables shown in Table 1. Some specific variables included a subset of 47 different chief complaints, 48 base locations, and 115 hospital locations. To reduce complexity in their model, response and travel times were assigned to 10-minute piecewise variables. Shown here in Table 2 are the 10 most frequent chief complaints or call requests, with the first being pregnancy-related at 37.3% and the second being vehicular injury-related at 10.2%. You'll notice that these align with the two specific target metrics outlined in SDG number 3. The machine learning algorithm that researchers used was called Random Forest. Shown here is a grossly oversimplified version. First, a subset of the data was selected in a step called bootstrapping, in this case, a fruit from the basket. Then, a number of variables were analyzed to characterize the fruit, such as color and size, forming a machine learning term called decision trees. The most common decision from these trees would win out in a step called aggregation. In this case, two trees decided apples and only one decided banana, so the fruit would be classified as an apple. For the EMS problem, the apples would be the decisions made in four main steps of the predictive model. In the first phase, a vehicle is assigned to the location of the call depending on the vehicle's availability and current location. In the second phase, decisions regarding the rerouting of vehicles are taken. A vehicle which is currently transporting a non-critical patient to a hospital can be rerouted to serve another patient if the travel time is less. However, if said vehicle is transporting a critical patient or is already transporting two patients, it is removed as an available vehicle. In the third stage, a hospital is assigned to a patient, taking into account the patient's own preference. If not given or unable to be given, the random forest is utilized to identify the most appropriate hospital location. In the final stage, the model assigns a newly available vehicle to a new call location or to a base station if there are no active calls to respond to. The outcomes of this model showed huge potential. Utilizing the model, vehicle assignment times, travel times, and response times all saw large decreases. For the two specific chief complaints outlined earlier, response times to pregnancy calls and MVAs both decreased significantly. However, there is more work to be done. Currently, only 18 of the 28 nation states of India use the 108 hotline, meaning that more centralization would improve patient outcome, especially in rural areas. As well, alternative resources such as non-ambulatory vehicles and private ambulances should be considered for calls that are less critical in order to further increase efficiency. In conclusion, this article and project ties together the sustainable development goals with the computational methods of machine learning and integer programming learned throughout Info 2770, creating a solution to improving health and patient outcome in developing countries. Thank you.